So welcome, welcome. It's been a day. Yeah, yeah. I've been putting videos out regularly, which is weird for me. You take a look, and there's all kinds of videos. What is happening? Am I actually doing video content again? Yeah, yeah. It's been awesome. But anyways, we're not here to talk about me. It's been three weeks since we last had an interview with Sweetie. You know, a lot of things has happened. A lot of things has transpired. And... Uh, he's been a busy man, been a busy man. Um, we all know some things that has happened, including running from Ohio due to a warrant in Ironton. Uh, he did get chased away by Kate from Mass Hall Report because she was protesting him being there, using her First Amendment rights. And we did get to listen to the audio where he basically felled really bad, like so bad, so bad. But he said he's in good spirits. He's in really good spirits. Um, you know, he lost some friends, Josh Abrams and a few others probably. Let's let's be honest, guys. He doesn't have friends. Sorry. Sorry. He doesn't. It's, it's just what it is. He's burned too many bridges. I, I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm sorry. Well, that's not very accurate. I have a lot of friends that give me $50,000. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm really popular, you know. I'm really cool. Well, I mean, if that's the case, where are they? Nobody's helping you. You say you're doing these great things, but nobody has come to your safety. And, you know, you've burnt bridges, man. Uh, I know you was trying to get in good with Josh Abrams, but it didn't work out for you, did it? Well, here's the thing. He is slime. You know, people that don't follow me, like my followers, my really good followers that give me money, and... You know, they listen to me, they know who I am, they know what I'm about. We don't stop for nothing. We don't stop at all. In a matter of fact, my pure alphaness has made a great community of people that just love me because I tell nothing but the truth. And for Josh Abrams to run away from me and say all this really bad stuff, I'm just going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you, here in the next couple of days, I'm going to be releasing a video that's going to lay out everything that's going on with me like all these trolls i'm going to show you this, and then i'm going to sue you it's coming it's coming it's coming well again you can you can't really sue me for making a video about you and you can't sue anybody else unless it was some kind of threat um but then again you probably still couldn't sue them uh you make threats all the time and you know we we, we will talk about one later um so let's go ahead and get started. So why did you leave Ironton knowing you left Ohio? I'm sorry, knowing you had a case coming up, and you also had a fight with Chad Gu. It was already being planned, but you skipped your court case, and now you have a warrant. What's that all about? Well, here's the thing: Ju Judge Waldo and McKnight and Gu and all of them. It's a conspiracy. You know, they're not giving me due process. They're not giving me discovery. They're, they're not giving me anything. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to quash that warrant. And I'm also going to. I'm the law here. Okay, I'm the law. So I'm going to do a federal civil civil case, and I'm going to win all kinds of money because people are stupid. I'm just going to tell you how stupid people are. Stupid people watch my show. And give me money because I, you know, I'm a fucking scam artist. I'm, I'm, I'm just laying it all out. You guys wanted to know the truth. I was going to leave this for tomorrow, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work. So I wanted to lay some things out for you. What was that? I, I mean, what, why, why are you coming now like that? That's, I, I you got balls, man. You got balls to admit things like that. So, so why, why, why are you saying that? Like. So are you calling all your 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 fans stupid? Like I know you make you kind of think they are. Just just let's let's give an example. Give an example. You ran away from Ironton, knowing you had a warrant. You had a case. You had a case coming, and you got that warrant. And one thing you keep on saying is people has put a trackers on your car. But you, you you don't have any evidence of that, and that never happened. But you you're afraid of Ohio. Apparently, you won't come back. Now you say you want to fight Chad Gu. You say you can stomp his ass because you beat Ken Shamrock. Which, by the way, we we did post on the community guys. If you don't know what the community, well, this is more towards Swedish fans. 
they don't really know what the community tab is. So let you know, I'm not gonna explain it. Sweetie, you can explain it, right? We actually have some text, some, some messages on Facebook from Ken Shamrock as well. It's so another guy that you said you tussled with, and they don't know you. They, well, they're lying. Obviously, they should know because I'm the most alpha. I'm alpha, okay? Okay, and I bounced him around. You know, I had the soft asses in my hand, and I, I fought him, and I bounced him all over the place. I did it with Joe Rogan, Mike Tyson, Simba from The Lion King, uh... Uh, the Chubacabra, as well as uh, the Burger Thief from McDonald's. I, I, I fought them all, I spanked them, and it was great. People are afraid of me, bro. Come on. Okay, player? I mean, play, is it Playboy? Yeah, Playboy. W w w people love me, okay? I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think people really love you for the reasons you think they love you. I think what it is is a lot of people feel sorry for you. And they watch you because they want to see a train wreck. Now, if this is all an act, if you're an actor and you're really portraying yourself being this stupid, I mean, really, you're, you're really dumb, like super bad. Now, I don't know anything about law, so, you know, I have ignorance of the law. But I don't really give a fuck because I don't break the law, okay? I don't break the law. And I'm not going to pretend that I'm perfect, okay? But... Yeah, you, you just run. You run. After you say, you know, you're going to do these things, and you just run, what's the deal? Well, here's the thing. If Judge Waldo, he's sitting there tracking me on his iPhones, and he's got all these super secret agents looking for me, I, I, I swear, Judge Waldo, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Waldo. That's right. And McKnight, I'm going to bite that butt of yours, that soft ass. I want to bite that ass. I'm just going to tell you, okay? Uh, in anyways, anyways, I I left Ohio because Judge Waldo is afraid of me. That's the thing that they would be so afraid of me because you know I I get up there and be like, hey, look at me, I'm really uh, look, I'm sweetie, I'm sweetie. I I know the law. Everything you tell me is stuff I already know. I already know these things, so you don't have to tell me anything. For somebody that says he knows an, a bunch about the law, you come with pretty ignorance really bad and i'm sorry man it's i don't think it's working for you bro i see you've been losing some followers and i know before we get started oh you're a small channel before i came in the picture look at you look at you I, at least people know how to use the community tab at least i have more than six people commenting on my channel I'm I'm just saying, you know. At least I at least I have more than that, okay? okay? You you can gloat about how big your channel is, but we kinda know what it is. But anyways, anyways, let's let's get away from Ironton, okay? So what why are you putting off the fight with Chad Gu? Well, here's the thing. I'm just gonna tell you right now, Chad Gu does not have the pedigree to fight me. I am just super, super great. I'll bounce him 15,000 times off the ring. You know what? I'll even come to his fight club. You know, I'll come to his fight club and I'll do, I'll, I'll just lay him on the ground. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I, but I'm not coming to Ohio and Chad, you do have to sign some papers because we, we want to make sure we're doing this legal. But, I, you know, I am super tough, even though I'm not violent and I've never been in a fight, but I've also been in hundreds of fights, you know, and I know you, you have proof of me saying different things, but I'm here to say it now. I've never really been into a fight, but I've been in thousands of fights in my head. I, you know, I fight people all the time. I've been in hundreds of fist fights in my head. That's, that's all it is. And Chad, you, you, you're not tough, bro. I, you know, I, I got you. I got you. I, <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess that explains some things. Explains some things. So, you know, Chad is training. He's doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. Uh, he's making video content every day. He's growing pretty fast. And you're running from him. You won't come to a sanctioned event that has a charity backing for St. Jude. Hmm. I thought you was charitable and for good causes, but you're running from that as well. But you did ask your people to send money to a 
portal that you was creating. Of course you did. Of course. Well, I, you know, I'm really smart, and I can make portals all the time. I make all the portals. I, I'm just telling you, I do. I make them, and people can send me money. They can trust me. I'm not going to do anything with their money. You know, I've never hurt anybody with money. I never have. You know, I just haven't. And I'll give all the money away. I'm a millionaire, you know? But I'm not. I'm also a pussy. And I'm just going to tell you. I'm trying to tell the truth. I'm trying to be transparent with you, okay? Usually I'm not very transparent, but today I want to be transparent. Well, I'm glad you're being truthful. Glad you're being truthful. Glad that um, you're at least coming out of the way, which coming out's another thing, but we won't go there, okay? We got you. We know, bro. But anyways, so let's get away from Ironton and Chad. So you went to Boston, Massachusetts with, uh, was it Brian Abrams? Is that his name? I think it's Brian Abrams. Um, yeah. So what was his channel called? Accountability for All. And you showed up with him to protest a Memorial Day parade, but you call a uh, Blue Line parade, which, again... And you did tell little kids, especially little girls, that the cops will rape them. Now, these are little kids, man. Like, you, you don't do that to little kids, okay? There's a lot of kids that want to be cops. And not all cops are bad, as much as you say they are. And I don't know why. Maybe you had some kind of incident back in the day. I don't know. But not all cops are bad. And you don't tell little girls that they're going to get raped or little boys that they're going to get arrested and fingers up their asses. You, you don't do that. But the icing on the cake is that you ran into Kate. And Kate shown up, same as you. We knew you was there. You actually shown where you was. Anybody could have found you. Anybody. Anybody with half a brain cell that was watching your stream would have known where you're at. So, of course, Kate knew where you was because she's not stupid. But you've shown yourself quite a bit. you kind of shown who you really are to a lot of people. So what, 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 what had you do that? Well, Kate was following me. She was pushing me down. She was making fun of how small my penis is. And, you know, I wasn't having it. And she got about bumping into me, punching me in my head. And um, she made me cry a little bit. So what I did was, you know, I just tried to mind my own business. But Kate, she was like, hey, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. And you know what? You're my brother, but you're stupid. And, and you know what else? Um, you're dumb. And I was like, I'm not dumb, Kate. Just quit calling me names. And anyways, I saw the police officer. You know, I don't like police officers, but I actually went to the police office and I'd be like, "Hey, this girl, I want to, I want, I want her gone away from me because she's she's being mean to me. She's hurt my fifis, and I just, I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand. She followed me everywhere. She was stalking me, and I was like, "Get away, get away, chick, get away." Get away! I'm gonna, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, uh, self-defense mode, and you, you know, I'm gonna push you down. I'm gonna break your teeth. You know, you chick, you psycho chick, and that was me. I was, I was scared for my life. I thought she had a bazooka in her pants, and I thought she was gonna blow me up. Literally, I literally thought that was gonna happen. I looked in her eyes, and I saw, she's like, "I'm gonna kill you, like you're gonna die, boy," and I was like, "Nah." -uh. I'm going to tell the cops first. So that's what I did. I ran to the police because I'm a giant idiot. I'm a stupid pussy. That's just true. Okay? I'm trying to be transparent. I'm never transparent like this. But I want to give the truth. And I want people to know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I did watch the video on both sides. And you did assault Kate. You clearly did. We do have a video of that, by the way. You assaulted Kate. You purposely bumped into Kate, which we've seen that too. We we have footage of these things, and I know you you guys went to court. Well, you you know <laughs> whatever that was. I, your 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 acting skills was not very great, but she kind of showing off how big of a hothead you are and how how dumb you are when it comes to law. When you say you're a constitutional scholar, you might. You know, you might have watched Law and Order. You may have read a couple 
articles, but that doesn't mean you're a fucking master. I know you like to say you have a big head, you're really smart, you have the knowledge, you're a game changer, which you're not. Let's let's just be honest, you're not. You're not. You're 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 as much as a constitutional scholar than most televangelists are. And you know, I don't really have a good things to say about televangelists because um, they they like the money, like you. And you'll say anything you can to get that money and notoriety. Now, again, you did look like an idiot and you did try to sue Kate, which, again, you're not very successful at that. So what's the next move? What's the next move? Well, this is what, this is my plan. So Blue Bacon, Kate, Team Skeptic, and all of these people have been making fun of me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in the next couple of days, I'm going to create a video. And it's going to lay out everything I am. And I'm going to make, I'm going to call out every single one of you trolls. And I'm going to put all your information out. And you know what next what happens next? I'm going to do a federal lawsuit. And I'm going to sue every single one of you. Because you hurt my fifis. You know, I, alphas have feelings too. And, you know, even though I'm not really an alpha, I'm more like a gamma. But I like to, you know, I like to raise my things up. People have to see me. And, I, and you know, I'm five foot four, guys. I'm five foot four. And anyways, you know, I have to be bigger. You know, I have to be bigger. Than, I am better than that. I am so smart. And I'm going to I am going to make a lot of money. And my stupid idiot fans, they're going to be like, oh, here, here's just some more money there, sweetie. Hey, I, I love you, bro. I don't even know how to spell, but here you some money. And you're just going to, I'm going to take it. That's how, that's how it works. I'm a master of deception. That's what I am. Well, it's good you're at least coming out and telling people what you are. I know that can be hard. And you have a lot of guts. I wanted to tell you, man, you have a lot of guts um, showing up and coming out a little bit. Speaking of coming out, <sighs> never mind. Never. We'll find that out one day, I'm sure. We know you have problems with women. You know, the assaulting and being a fucking creep. But we, we know. It's okay. It's okay. But anyways, sweetie, I'm going to have to let you go. You seem like you have a lot of stuff to do. And hopefully you find your way. Is there anything else you would like to say? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. My offer is always open. So whenever my warrant gets quashed in Ironton, I just want to know. Can, can we meet up, bro? I mean, Playboy, can we can we totally just meet up, you and I, and I'll I'll take you out to Taco Bell, and I'll get you, you know, Mexican pizza. They, they don't make them anymore, but I have, I know the laws to get Mexican pizza, so I, I we'll get you one, and maybe we can hang out, you know, uh, you and your soft butt, and uh, you, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I really shouldn't come off like this, but, you know, the offer's always open. Well, the offer is always open, but it doesn't mean I really want to accept it. And I understand that's fine. I, I'm kind of flattered, honestly, that you you constantly ask me these things. Every time you're on, I don't know if you mean it. And, you know, I, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But I do decline. I do decline. I like to keep my relationships professional. And even though we don't have a relationship outside of you being a total dickwad, um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm just not into it, bro. Not into it. So you continue what you're doing. Um, have fun um, crying in your next video. I hope I hope you enjoy. See you later, sweetie. So that was it. That was it. We talked to sweetie. He actually he gave a lot of information that I didn't expect him to. You know, he said some things that I just didn't expect. Like, uh, yeah, I'm shocked. This is probably the most shocking interview. But I have ever done. And I've done a few interviews. And this this has to be the most shocking with the revelations that we got from Sweetie. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you really soon.